started from the bottom. No. to another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am back with another mystery keychain unboxing. I recently uploaded a Golden Girls, my first ever Golden Girls mystery keychain unboxing, which if you have not seen that, I will link that for you guys in the description box. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. It was a good one. So recently I went online and just kind of searched for any Disney related mystery keychains to see if there were any other like new series or just series in general that I have not purchased before. So I have two different series or types of mystery keychains that we're going to be doing in this video. Four of them are from the same series and then two are from a different series. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right on into it. So if you would like to see my new Disney mystery keychains, then just keep on watching. All right, so the first mystery keychain series that I got is this one right here. This one kind of looks on the older side, but I have never seen it before. I actually found these on Mercari, and this is the Series 14 Disney figural keychain bags, and I was so hoping I was going to find more of these because I just absolutely love the options that you can get in this particular series. But the only ones I was able to find were on Mercari and the particular seller only had two of them. So I ended up buying two of these. And then the other series I got is I'm super excited for. It is from one particular Disney movie and that is Beauty and the Beast. So this is the Disney Princess Belle and Friends figural key raid bags. And it has all sorts of different characters from Beauty and the Beast, which I am super excited about. This I got from some sort of like toy website. I think it's something like Toy Wiz. But yeah, like I said, I just went to Google and typed in Disney mystery keychains and that's kind of how I found these particular listings. Um, and yeah, so I was able to get four of these and I feel like these I am super, super excited for. So I just, I can't wait. I, let's just go ahead and open these up first. So I'll zoom you guys in real quick so we can see all of the different options that we can get in this particular mystery keychain series. All right, so here's just kind of like a close up of the front of the packaging. I apologize, there was a sticker here, so you're kind of missing a little bit of a Pocahontas face right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and flip this over. So in this particular series, you get 10 different keychains as well as two mystery mystery keychains over here, exclusive A and exclusive B, making it a total of 12 different options that you can get from this particular series. So let's go ahead and start right up here. So the first option you can get is Pocahontas. And as you'll quickly see, um, <laughs> from this particular series. This is a very like love couple series. So each print Disney princess has their partner as well. So of course Pocahontas' partner John Smith is the next one. And we'll move on to Jasmine and Aladdin or Prince Aladdin, this one is titled. And then you also have Cinderella and Prince Charming. That's the first row. And then the second row down here, you have Ariel from The Little Mermaid and Prince Eric. You have Belle and Beast from Beauty and the Beast. And then here are our exclusive A and exclusive B. Now, kind of looking at the mystery mystery keychains, I wasn't really able to recognize exclusive A, but by looking at exclusive B, it kind of looks like Flynn Rider from Tangled. So that kind of makes me think that exclusive A may be Rapunzel to kind of finish off the couple for the mystery mystery keychains. And yeah, so that is all of the different options that you can get in this particular keychain series. All right, now that we kind of went over all of the different options that you can get in this particular series, this is really why I wanted to get more than two of this series. I feel like I probably would have bought like 10 to 20 if I had the option to because I honestly want all of the keychains that you can possibly get from this set. So I really honestly wouldn't be upset about getting any of these. Um, but of course, since we only have two, if I can just get like a perfect matching couple, that would be awesome. But because of all of the different options and because I only have two, 
the odds of that happening are probably very, very low. <laughs> if I get any of like the male characters, I probably could make it work because I do have other like mystery um, Disney princess keychains. So I could probably match them up. Like I know I have a Jasmine one. So for example, if I was able to get Aladdin, that would work perfectly. So yeah, I'm just so excited. Let's go ahead and just open this up. I'm gonna open this one up first since it's already in my hand. So we got this open and I'm just gonna reach my hand in and try to see if I can guess what it is. It kind of feels like Aladdin. Should we pull it out? Oh yes! Oh my gosh! Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Of course I'll do like close-ups of all the different keychains so you can really get a better look at them. Oh my gosh. What are the odds of that? Oh my gosh. That is gonna look so cute. I have to go get her. I'm gonna go grab Jasmine. I'll be right back. You guys. Look how cute. I'm thrilled, thrilled. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're on our second and last one from the series. Let's just hope it's a good one. Please don't make it a repeat. So I'm just gonna, Reach my hand in. Okay, it feels rounded on the bottom, or maybe it's the top. So I was kind of thinking maybe it was a female character. It's gotta be either Belle or Ariel, I'm guessing. Ugh. And we got Belle. Super, super cute. Not mad at this one, but at the same time, I would have liked to get another one just because we have four more keychains to open that are from Beauty and the Beast. So like, the odds of getting like another bell are probably high, <laughs> but she's very, very cute. So I'm not mad at it. And it's not a repeat, so. So now let's go ahead and move on to the next series, the Beauty and the Beast one. I'll of course zoom you guys in so we can get a closer look of each of the options that we can get in this particular series. So here is a little bit of a close up of this packaging right here. Sorry, it's a little wonky on the side there, but we'll go ahead and flip it over um, so we can see all of the different keychain options. All right, so in this particular one, you get nine different options and then two mystery mysteries, exclusive A and exclusive B, making it a total of 11 different options you can get in this particular series. So to start in this row right up here, of course you get Belle herself, then you have the Beast, Chip, Mrs. Potts, and Lumiere. Moving on to the next row, you get a Cogswell, and then you get the Footstool, which is titled Footstool, which I thought he had a name because this was at, like the dog. The dog got turned into a footstool. So I feel like he definitely has a name, but I'm like blanking on it. But I just found that in interesting that they just called it Footstool. <laughs> and then you have Gaston and Maurice, which is Belle's father. And then here are the options for exclusive A and exclusive B. Right away, I think I can point out what these are. I believe exclusive B kind of looks like the beast when he is a human. And then just kind of going off of the top knot on exclusive A, I'm guessing that that's probably Belle um, in her yellow gown. So here are all of the different options that you can get in this particular series. All right, so now that we kind of have gone over each of the options that we can get in this series, originally I was thinking if I got exclusive A, which I'm assuming is Belle in her yellow gown. I would really like that one, but at the same time, I wouldn't because I totally forgot I already have a Belle keychain of her in her yellow gown. I really do like the the other Belle, like this one in like her little winter outfit. That would be another one I really want, but at the same time, because we just opened a Belle from the previous series, that kind of makes me not want that one. Yeah, so honestly, I really hope we get Gaston and the Beast. Those are kind of the two that I'm like really, really wanting. As far as the other characters, I would love to have like Lumiere and Cogsworth as a set. I think that that would be really cool. So let's go ahead and open this one first. I'm thinking I will go ahead and let you guys take the first look. Okay, so we got this open. Don't let me down, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and reach in and pull it out. Oh! 
Okay, we got Maurice, which I do love Maurice. Like he is just the sweetest character. So even though it wasn't one of the top keychains that I wanted, I'm not too upset at it. And I could definitely put him with Belle, especially this Belle because they're kind of matching. I think they would look really cute together. Okay, I actually really like this one. He's so cute. Now we're gonna open this one. And this one, I feel like it has to be either Beast or Mrs. Potts because it's like really like big. It's like the biggest one out of all the other ones I got. So that's my guesses. Let's hope it's the Beast though. I'm just gonna pull it out. Oh, um, okay, it's Mrs. Potts. Aw, uh, she's actually really cute. I actually like her a lot better like in person than just like the picture on here. And like, she even has like her little handle that you can like hang on to. Like, oh my gosh, she is the cutest. if the lighting is changing at all like the sun just like came through my window in like full force so if you're seeing that just ignore that <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and open the third one the second to last one I think I'm just gonna reach my hand in and kind of feel for what this one may be oh this kind of feels like the footstool I think it's the footstool yep <laughs> oh that's weird why does he not have like front is it broken? It doesn't look broken. It's just kind of very strange how there's only two little foot legs in front, but like one is like oddly cut off and then yeah, there's none in the back. So that's kind of strange, but okay. Um, no, I try to look on the bright side of everything, but yeah, this one is just not it, sis. But it's okay. I'll put him with Mrs. Potts. So it'll kind of go with like the little like unique characters. I do like getting unique characters, but yeah, this one, I just, eh, not a fan. Okay, we're on our last one. Let's hope it's Gaston or Chip. It kind of feels a little on the skinnier side, so I'm guessing it's probably neither of those. We'll open her up here and I will give you guys the first peek. Let's make it a good one for our last keychain. Is it a good one? Oh, it looks like Lumiere. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, he is adorable. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, at least we got one of the characters I really wanted. We got our three character pieces, which I guess now thinking about it, like a majority of the options in this particular series are kind of like not main characters, or I guess like objects from Beauty and the Beast. So I guess odds are you're gonna get more of those than the like human or beast characters. But yeah, I mean, a part of me is like kind of disappointed, mainly with like the footstool one. I'm sorry, but like I just, it probably would have been my least favorite to get out of this collection. <laughs> but it could be worse. I'm kind of still glad that we didn't get a bell because we got a bell from our previous series. So I feel like that kind of worked out. And I feel like that particular bell that we got is gonna go like really cute next to Maurice because they just like look like they're wearing matching outfits and stuff like that. So it's okay. All right, everyone. And that is it for this Disney mystery keychain unboxing. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you would like to see any of my other mystery keychain unboxings, I have other Disney related ones. Like I said, I recently did the Golden Girls one for the first time. And I also have other like horror movie related ones. So if you would like to see any of those, I will go ahead and try to link all of those down in the description box. So make sure to go ahead and check those out. And yeah, I'm going to get going for now, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.